Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to tell you about a uh, real-time database with Firebase in React Native. Uh, so firstly, I uh, continue with the Google Console uh, for Firebase and click to uh, database uh, and choose the real-time database. Uh, the real-time database will uh, create some of the database here. We have collection and uh, uh, we have to uh, set a rule for this. So the, the permission here is uh, read and write to true for anyone to write to the database uh, without uh, uh, logging in. So firstly, I have to create a new component. Uh, I call this uh, a database uh, component.js. Uh, inside this, I uh, import some of the library or package. Uh, I import the, the Firebase uh, package and uh, we also have the configurations for iOS and Android. Uh, these are two objects and depending on your platform, it will use uh, the database uh, for iOS config and Android config. Uh, so firstly, uh, for iOS, you open the plist file and see some of the parameters. Uh, so map this parameter to this uh, object we have uh, this here and uh, from a client ID from app ID and uh, API key uh, to uh, send to the uh, real-time database and the URL story package to uh, send the storage to database and uh, the message sender and so etc and what about android you can see the content of uh, google service and you do the same as with ios we have some of the property uh, then uh, add the property to the object of android configurations and depending on your platform we uh, can uh, initialize the database uh, depending on uh, the configuration for ios and android uh, choosing from a platform and calling the initialize app in uh, React Native, we uh, can uh, compare the, the OS is equal to iOS or Android, then choose the uh, um, configuration for iOS or Android, and the application name. Uh, we have the root reference or the reference to the root of the database, and the second is the child. Uh, the child here we have uh, animals you have uh, some of the correlation and you can add more correlation here uh, this is the component uh, for database so inside the component we have the render function we set some of the initial state of uh, animals arrays and the new animal when user type your uh, his uh, animal here uh, so we have a flat list to contain any data from uh, database and uh, uh, each of the item has an animal name and the animal name here and so you can see in the database after updating uh, so inside the view we also add uh, an above view in uh, uh, in front of the flat list so we uh, you can add a button to add more animal name or and a text input to enter the name and the button to add uh, so firstly i uh, have to uh, set the database component as root component and see here we have the view it is a view uh, after the flat list and below here we have a flat list with blind data uh, so um, because the the array is initialized as a blank array uh, so inside the view we have a text input uh, so the text input here uh, to input the new animal name and after the animal name the state will be changed and the component will be re-rendered uh, so you can see that the view is an outer uh, of the text input and the text input contain uh, the placeholder enter animal name uh, so in the right of the text input we have the button to add a new um, here after you pressing you uh, after pressing the new um, animal name you can press add uh, so this is a method uh, this method can check for uh, the 
animal is blind and then it can insert to the database using push uh, and any more uh, ref is a reference to the correction animals in react uh, native runtime database so this is a function is called uh, when any change occur in the runtime database at animal correlation and uh, uh, so I can uh, loop for loops and the snapshot as a pair as uh, some pair of key value we have a key one value one key two value two etc so the for each is a loop for um, uh, like in the array uh, so we have the animal is blank and I can add the animal to here I miss uh, an array of object depending on the key value pairs uh, so uh, the animal object we have the property key uh, for the animal name the key is uh, for distinguish any uh, record in the correlation uh, so uh, after that I can set state to for um, to, to re-render the component to refresh the flat list by um, uh, changing the state and uh, if you want to sort array you can uh, use the sort function of the uh, javascript uh, so you use a sort uh, which the input parameter is a and b for two of the uh, element and inside the native arm you can initialize and set the persistent to true or enable the, the uh, enable persistent for uh, uh, the database in native code you can uh, work the same as the Android uh, so here you can comment on this because it is not necessary you can set in your uh, is a native code yes uh, so open the database and reload the data the data will be reload with refresh and so you open iPhone as cat okay so after you press in your new, you have a new object with animal name, with the key outer, um, uh, outer generated key. Oh, we have a Renos, for example. Yes. Uh, so we also you can get your dot and cat etc. Dot and add. So we have here, uh, and uh, it is real time. It's a very fast because it, uh, it is made by Google. Very fast. So you also add page, for example. Uh, so uh, for easier to delete, you can delete one document. Yes, and two document, you can delete more document and delete. Uh, after deleting the uh, the function on will be called and refresh the flat list. Okay, thank you for watching this lesson today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.